In theory, it's a perfect idea. Use solar panels on an electric car to power it while it's driving, and that energy could charge the battery, giving you the ability to drive forever. If only things were that perfect, though. But don't be sad just yet, because in this video, I'm going to go over three cars powered by the sun. But first, let's go over why we aren't all driving solar-powered cars. For one thing, solar panels are just not that powerful yet. Most solar panels today are only 15 to 20 percent efficient. That means as much as 85 percent of all the energy from the sun doesn't even get converted. Not to mention, you're not always going to have direct sunlight charging the panels. You may live in a clouded place such as Seattle. So because of the lack of efficiency, you would need a large area for the solar panels to be on, and with cars being cars, they have limited space. Though, even though we don't have cars completely reliant on the sun, there are electric vehicles that are using solar power as an extra boost to the range. This is the new type of car being developed. The main drawback of electric cars is the distance you can go in a certain charge. For example, the Tesla Model S can go 395 miles in a single charge, but it takes 10 hours to charge. Whereas, you could buy a gas car that only takes 5 minutes to fill up. Solar power, however, can be used to give electric vehicles more of an appeal. And this is where we get to our first car, Scion. It's an electric car made by Sono Motors that uses a battery as well as the sun to power it. The total range of the car is about 190 miles, so not the best range for an electric car. And with just using the sun, the range is only 10 miles a day. Good thing that it has a rechargeable battery to add the rest of the distance back. This car is good, but it may not be able to go as far as you may like it to. This brings us to our next car. This is the Lightyear One. It's a partially solar-powered vehicle, and they claim to have a range of 450 miles, which is really good for an electric car. And the way they're developing the car is to maximize the range by using as little weight as possible. It also maximizes space on the car, having 53 square feet of solar panels. They haven't released the car yet, but they are taking pre-orders for it. And this brings us to the most promising and final car on the list. They claim you can go a thousand miles on a single charge, and 40 miles a day on solar power. This is Aptera. It looks cool, 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds, and you can reserve a car for $100 down. Best of all, the cars they're developing are cheaper than most electric cars. You can buy a car with a thousand mile range for as low as $44,000. So could you drive this car without ever charging it? With the Aptera car, this could be possible. Even without the solar power, a thousand mile range is pretty nice. So are there solar cars that allow you to drive endlessly? There are none right now, but there are companies developing cars with more efficient batteries and with solar panels so you can drive without having to charge it every day. Did you like this video? If so, you may like the video on the screen right now. You might as well click it.